Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of My Life Lemons. If you are new here, thank you so much for hanging out with us today and checking out this video. I really, really do appreciate it. And again, welcome. So today, the scent that I will be reviewing for you guys is Pure Wonder by Bath & Body Works. Okay, so this came out 2021 winter holiday. And then this was, I think it's part of the signature collection because um, this uh, was in a lot of different forms. It was in a candle, perfume body cream body lotion um, hand cream um, what else wallflower hand sanitizer I'm not sure if this was released um, you know those uh, bath soaps those bar soaps I mean so yeah it was everywhere okay so oh by the way this was also uh, requested I will put the message request somewhere here and then so let me show you the bottle packaging so first we have this clear lid and a um, rose gold it's like a pinky rose gold um, atomizer and then the bottle is I'm not sure if the bottle is clear because if I put it um, like here comparing it to the lid the bottle packaging is slightly more I don't know I don't know if you can see it. it's slightly more hazy I don't know maybe it's just me okay and what's really more interesting in this bottle design is this um, indented or like an etched design um, there's one in the front and one at the back I don't know if this is like a snowflake or like an icicle shape into a uh, star but it's nice it is different from the other bottle packaging that Bath & Body Works has released recently. Oh yeah, I remember like they did this um, bottle design that it looks like a um, knitted sweater. That, that was like a very neat uh, bottle packaging. I wish they would um, use those again. And now let me show you the sticker packaging. Okay, so here we have like a, um, a combination like a layer combination like on the top and at the bottom this is on the upper layer you get this rose gold but it has this um, glittery hollow effect to it like and okay and then you get a plain metallic rose gold at the bottom and it's the same down here okay so on the uh, on the background here on the white background i mean this has a bit of texture it's like small like dots but it's not even like there are parts where um it's smooth and then there are dots like everywhere okay and it continues um on here but the um writing on here does not have any texture to them but in front the writing does have texture okay so to me the bottle packaging of this fragrance mist is just beautiful I really do love the uh, packaging on here to me I would rate it uh, 10 out of 10 I love the color I love the design and it's pretty and this is the type of uh, fragrance mist bottles that you would love to put like on top of your dresser Okay, so let's go on ahead and read the set notes for Pure Wonder. Okay, so Pure Wonder has Ice Rosé, not Rose, Star Jasmine, and Warm White Amber. Delight your imagination with a joyful sense of wonder in a fragrance that blooms with optimism and a clean, cozy warmth. Okay, so you know what let's um, I'm going to spray this uh, for you guys oh, so good this is such a beautiful scent okay I'm telling you guys um, right now at the beginning of the review this is a beautiful okay okay so this fragrance mist it starts off with that bright sweet tart scent 
I don't know where that tart scent is coming from exactly. Maybe it's the iced rosé. Because rosé is like um, a combination of champagne and wine. And sometimes champagne scents, it gives off a bit of a tart note. Mm. And then after that, I get a musk scent. At least on my skin, I get that musky perfumey scent and I feel like it's coming from the white amber fragrance note and it's beautiful I do love the uh, amber note that I get from pure wonder and I will um, explain it a little bit um, further into the review mm. and then after that I do get that jasmine note as well um, it says here it's star jasmine I don't know why they said it's star jasmine maybe star jasmine um, is supposed to be like a soft very light jasmine scent because this this is not a floral scent um, if you feel like uh, you might not like it because it has a floral note on in there the jasmine note on here is very very light it's like it's almost just um, like a hint like it smells like it's only in the background that sometimes you get hints of it and other times you really don't smell it but I think it's blended in well with the other fragrance notes that it's sort of like um, you know it makes it might be the one making that amber note like in check along with the um, tart scent because the tart note on here the one that I get it's not like a very tangy or zesty tart note it's like it's soft but sweet tart scent okay it's not like a very strong tart scent I, I'm not a huge fan of citrusy scents by the way but with this one it's it's pretty I really like this scent. I I kind of love it okay but I'm not too obsessed with pure wonder but I do love this scent mmm she's so good okay a lot of people mentioned um, I don't know how many but the one that I I watched uh, Michelle Wagner I hope I said her name correctly um, she said that this smelled a bit like a soapy perfumey scent and honestly I also get that especially when I'm smelling the nozzle I get it I mean I smell that um, soapy perfumey scent but it's not like a uh, cheap soapy perfumey scent um, actually it smells kind of like a um, luxury soapy perfumey fragrance okay but okay so the soapy um vibe that i get from this fragrance mist at least on my skin um it's not that strong i mean i i smell it sometimes um sometimes i would smell it sometimes i won't but i think it's there and i guess that is why i feel like to me this scent um, it smells like a fresh and clean perfumey scent okay um, to me this is like one of those scents I'm not saying that this smells like laundry okay because a lot of people associate fresh and clean with laundry scents okay this doesn't remind me of like a um, clean laundry type of scent because it, again this is a very perfumey scent to me to my nose it's very perfumey it even has that musky note to it but it's fresh clean and sweet so the first time that I wore this to review when I first smelled it I was uh, reminded a bit of a thousand wishes because of that perfumey vibe that I'm getting from this scent but so if you're like that type of person who likes perfumey nice feminine scents definitely this is a great scent to get okay 
and also um, while I was um, smelling this that white amber note I was also like reminded a bit of um, the amber note on fairy tale okay I'm not reminded of fairy tale only the amber note on that fragrance mist because the amber note on fairy tale is a warm amber and this is a um, white amber um, there is something similar about that amber note but on here that amber note is just more lighter and softer and I love it okay I just love the amber note on here I used to think that the amber note on fairy tale actually I have fairy tale beside me <laughs> it's my favorite but now that I smelled um, pure wonder I think that this is my mm, my most uh, favorite amber note okay because it's this scent like I said it's clean and it's unobtrusive it's one of those fragrance mists or or scents that you can wear anytime any day um, yeah yeah I do believe that this is a good everyday scent although it's perfumey I, I'm not I'm not okay typically for me I do not like perfumey scents to wear for every day but this one I can I can get with it okay this is the type of perfumey scent that you can wear every day because again she, she to me it smells she smells fresh and clean and um perfumey but light okay the, the sweetness on here it's just the right sweet um, and the tart note on here keeps this scent from going um too musky okay let me sometimes musky notes on my skin they yeah they can be a little too strong but with this one the tart scent that i'm getting from uh, pure wonder it's like it tones it down it tones down that musky scent that's why that's why i'm saying that this is a scent that yeah it's a perfumey scent that can be worn for every day oh by the way i also want to mention so the first day because i was reminded of a thousand wishes i sprayed a thousand wishes and fairy tale on my other arm you know just to um, check the differences um, that's how I found out that a thousand wishes smells more sweeter than pure wonder and then when I was smelling a thousand wishes and then I go back uh, to smelling pure wonder the jasmine note on here I can smell it more which is like um, it's kind of weird but it's amazing it's like a thousand wishes brings out the jasmine note on pure wonder but normally like just smelling this fragrance at least on me i don't get much of that jasmine scent i mean not uh, particularly but i feel like it's there but it's just being toned down by the other scents or it's just so blended in well in the scent notes that it's not um it's not overpowering the whole thing and again the main note that i would say that i get from this fragrance is that amber note along with that tart note again i don't know why i'm getting that tart note uh, maybe it's the iced rosé um i think that this is the first fragrance mist that i have that has rosé um on the top notes or at least part of the main um, fragrance notes so now I'm going to talk about longevity okay so pure wonder on my skin this lasts for a good two hours okay sometimes two and a half hours but mostly consistently it lasts for two hours um, but I do get a skin scent that lasts for at least another six to seven hours and to me that skin scent is a beautiful skin scent actually the skin scent 
um, on here reminds me of the skin scent that I get from uh, in the stars and gingham it's like a soft clementine or a soft uh, si but I, you know what it's just a soft citrus note and it's sweet and light and fresh and it's pretty it's such a pretty skin scent I love it so on my clothing this lasts more than I would have to say more than 18 to 20 hours but it's really soft okay this doesn't smell like um, the same way that I'm getting on my skin on my clothes this smells more fresher okay um, the perfume note it's not as strong there is no musk on my clothing so I'm guessing maybe it's just with my body chemistry that's why I'm getting a musky note from pure wonder but on my clothes it's like I get this I get the tart note I get a bit of that jasmine but it's not like um, it's not a strong floral scent again and I get that white amber and it's it just smells fresh on my clothes but uh, it still has that coziness to it yeah so on my clothes it smells fresh it's light I get the tart I get that very very soft floral and the amber note it's lovely but it's light this scent it barely projects okay this barely projects on my clothing and the projection on my skin it isn't that strong either so um, if you're that type of person who really likes strong scents you might not um, be satisfied with how um, this fragrance mist um, performs but if you are that type of person you do not want to smell too strong either you mean you're not really into that uh, perfumey scent but you want to smell a little perfumey and yes this one it's a great scent to try out so pure wonder i like how this smells way better on my skin than on my clothes but it's not that bad again i do appreciate that light uh, scent that i get on my clothes because like i said this is very wearable for every day like if you're looking for that fragrance mist to wear every day and you like something you know not um, overpowering it's again I I said it earlier this is um, a very non obtrusive fragrance um, who would I recommend a uh, pure wonder to um, age range young adults and up um, to me if you're that type of person who wants to try out perfume scents but you're not ready yet whether if you want something you know a little a little grown um, a little bit of a mature perfumey scent um, this is a great scent to try out I mean whether you're gonna step into the real perfumes or not <laughs> this scent I would recommend to those people who want something perfumey but light and clean and kind of fresh at the same time Okay, so for me, uh, also Pure Wonder is more of a feminine scent because it's soft and light and has that sweet tart scent, especially on the dry down. She's that, to me, she smells clean and simple and fresh and sweet, but not too sweet. Okay, so Pure Wonder to me is that woman, you know, she wants to smell good, but not loud, okay? She wants to smell sophisticated, but in a very simple, clean, fresh way. Um, because again, this to me, it's very perfumey. Um, I would have to say that this is giving me like um, a thousand wishes vibes. And if you like a thousand wishes and you really like perfumey scents, this is a great scent to try out. If you want like a fresh, clean, again, unobtrusive scent, this is perfect this is why I really like this scent because again it's it's that scent that even if it's perfumey you can yeah it's uh, wearable for every day 
I mean for casual wear yeah I think you can wear this for casual wear but I don't think you can wear this scent you know you know what wear whatever scent you want on whatever occasion <laughs> okay so mm, yeah okay pure wonder this one I would repurchase this scent um, I just hope that by the time that um, if I ever you know by the time that I finish this scent I hope that this would still be available because she is such a pretty scent then and I really want this in my collection for a very very long time okay so I think that is going to be it for my review of pure wonder and again if you like this review please do not forget to give it a thumbs up if you want to watch more future fragrance mist reviews please do not forget to subscribe and if you have any questions for me any scent suggestions or any comments at all please write them down below and i will be happy to check them out and i will get back to you as soon as i can okay so for now guys everybody everybody please 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 take care and be safe wherever you are and i will see you on the next review goodbye guys